I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Norm Parola of Parola Design and uh, Wood Skills, and I'll uh, be presenting a session on, uh, on furniture design. So I'll break the session down into the different topics quickly. So at the very beginning, I'll discuss the uh, furniture history or history of furniture, how, uh, how critical it is to, to understand uh, how furniture has evolved over the centuries and uh, the progression in, um, in furniture construction and then and how periods of furniture have evolved in style. And this gives context to uh, how furniture has evolved. So if you're going to um, design, uh, or if you're interested in a period furniture, you can understand, have a better grasp of the, uh, of how furniture has evolved and perhaps pick one of the periods that, that, that interest you for your own style. Next, we'll actually get into furniture design concepts. This is a dimensioning of proportions, of furniture construction methods, uh, best practices and the aesthetic of the furniture. Next, we'll I'll discuss wood selection, which goes hand in hand with the uh, furniture design. It's important and critical to, uh, to have a good uh, selection of wood, uh, grain orientation, um, understand the dimensional uh, stability, expansion, contraction of wood, build that into your furniture, depending on what you're building, your chair or cabinet. Next, I'll discuss uh, how to develop your own furniture style. So again, you can develop a, or create a style or work with a, an earlier period of furniture or develop your own style or develop a, uh, or just uh, in a more contemporary sense and uh, select some elements from past periods or uh, furniture, successful uh, elements, popular elements, to incorporate in your own furniture. Next, we'll, uh, we'll discuss sketching and drawing. Sketching and drawing are critical in furniture design. You need to, uh, to be able to sketch furniture, uh, preliminary sketches, and progress to uh, pencil drawings, right? both uh, orthographic and isometric projections, to better visualize your design. I'm also going to be uh, referring to some, uh, some information I have in, my, in a book of mine. This is uh, Woodworking from Design to Making, a book I published last year. And this will um, this has some uh, some good information on the on the design process of furniture and some some terms that I've actually coined and some processes I go through. So I'll be referring to this book also, along with some other books on uh, on history of furniture. So the next topic is uh, CAD or computer aided design, and I'll discuss how CAD has replaced the drawing stage of uh, furniture design. So you can actually progress from uh, your your uh, rough sketching rough sketches to a CAD and what CAD gives you is a, a 3D uh, visualization with perspective on a computer screen and you can rotate the piece and uh, modify it, change its dimensions uh, dynamically as opposed to having to go back through the steps of uh, iterations of drawings and uh, this will save you considerable time in your furniture design and it's a modern way of uh, designing, although you could use pencil, you could, you could go through the process of just sketching and pencil drawing and not use CAD, but I, I use CAD in my own uh, my own work. And here's a, here's a, an example of a CAD with console table in CAD. And lastly, I'll I'll, uh, I'll answer your questions. Hopefully, I'll be able to answer all your questions. And uh, even if we need to go over a few minutes in the session, I'll uh, I'll strive to answer your questions. So uh, thank you.